Hello, this is Ray Marquis from Valen Corporation. This video is going to show the commissioning of Omron's G9SP Safety PLC. Before we get going, I want to talk about passwords. There are two types of passwords. One is to password protect the PLC so that there's no access to it from the G9SP configuration software. And the other one is to password protect the program file so that you can limit how much editing can be done. Descriptions of the passwords are outlined in the manual that starts with Z922 from Omron. And you can see their parameter passwords, device passwords are outlined here and the features that are available for each one are also shown here. So before you start setting passwords, it's a good idea to look at this section and understand what it is that you're doing. In order to set the passwords, you go to the communication tab and you can select change device password. As I've mentioned through several of the videos and I'll mention again in this one, it's, I like to leave the device password alone until I'm ready to commission the system and send it on its way. There's many, many times you have to enter the password for changing the program mode, downloading the program, et cetera. And so it's a good idea to leave it blank so you don't have to keep entering it over and over again. Sometimes one operation will require entering the password three or four times. The other password is under the file menu and that's the parameter password. And if you scroll back, you'll be able to see what the difference between the parameter password and the device password are. In previous videos, we've developed a project and this project may not look like the one that you've done, but it doesn't matter. It's just to show the process of going online and validating your project and locking the safety PLC. I've got a reset switch, a door interlock here, and then a safety relay output. So this circuit will work fine. In a previous video, we showed how to simulate your program running the simulator in the G9SP configuration software. So we can skip that step now and we'll go directly to downloading it and testing it on the PLC itself. The first thing that we do to download the PLC program is go online with the PLC by clicking on this connect button, or I can go to the communication menu and select connect or do control W, whichever is convenient for you. Once we're all online, you'll see this button option changes here and these two buttons become available. The next logical step would be to click on download, which we'll try now. Confirm your selection by saying yes. I get this message because this PLC has been in use and is locked already. So in order to unlock it, I'll click on OK here, go to the communication menu and select unlock. Now the PLC is unlocked, so I can click on the download button. You can see there's a lot of opportunities to, I would have to enter the password if I had one set. So during commissioning, that's why I like to leave the password blank until the very last time I'm ready to download and ship the machine. I've downloaded the program. I want to turn on the program monitor so that I can see the status of my inputs and outputs. The dark green means that this one is true. The light green means it's false. So that my safety gate, if I open the gate, the status of my inputs changes, close the gate and it goes back. The next thing I want to test is my reset. I'll touch the reset button and I can see that it goes on and then off again, but the output didn't change. This is a common mistake that people make. The PLC needs to be in run mode. You can change to run mode by clicking on the run button here or going to the communication menu, change mode, run. Once again, that password comes up, so can't stress how nice it is not to have to enter that until the very end. Now I'll try my reset again. Touch it, push the button and then let go. And you see the output for the safety relay comes on. That's because the reset function block has been set to look for a rising edge and then a falling edge before it'll reset the, the output. You can go to the properties of the reset function block and change it to a rising edge only. Now that the program's downloaded, the next step is to verify. The verify option's grayed out here because we're still monitoring program operation it's just a feature of the software that you can't verify unless you exit the program monitor by clicking this button. Now we can go to the communication menu, 
select verify. Once the verification is done, you'll be presented with this configuration report, which you can print and save with the machine information. I'm just going to close it. After verification, it automatically goes to the locking step. So when I click yes on this, it's going to go through the procedure of locking the PLC so that it can't be tampered with without the password. And now if I look at the indicators on the front of the PLC, you'll see that this lock indicator is now solid yellow, whereas before it was flashing yellow. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please call us at the phone number above. If you call, ask for automation technical support, and you'll either get me or one of my colleagues to help you out. Thanks a lot and have a great day.